simple enough. You look at the subject. And if the subject is singular, then you know you're working with the first singular. If the subject is plural, then you know you're working with the third plural because the subject and the verb have to match in person and number. Now, if, on the other hand, you see an epsilon nu, and the movable nu, when you see it out there in the New Testament, is not going to have uh, the benefit of the parentheses. It's just going to show up this way. When you see the epsilon nu, you know that that can't be an ending. That nu cannot be an ending because a nu would have to have a connecting vowel of omicron, not epsilon. So you know that that has to be a movable nu. So the endings that you'll work with, nu sigma nothing, possibly a movable nu there, uh, and then the men, te, and nu. Now I want you to give me these endings when I ask for them without the connecting vowels, because in other tenses, that vowel is going to be different. And so you have to know what the endings are and learn them as they are there in red and not uh, learn them uh, with the connecting vowel. And then I want you also to show me uh, that you recognize that sometimes this will have a movable new and put that in parentheses. Now, we use parentheses for the movable new. We use the slash mark for the new or the sign. Why do we do that? Well, the movable nu is not an ending. It's not an alternative ending. It's something that can be added in context to make the reading of the Greek smoother. And so it's not an ending. We put the parentheses around it. With the slash mark, we're saying that both of these are endings. And in some situations, you'll see the new ending. And in other situations, the sign ending. So the slash means alternative ending. The parentheses means something that can be added, but it's not an ending. It's not indicating a uh, personal ending. So nu sigma nothing, men ten nu or san are the secondary personal active endings. Well, what are the secondary personal middle passive endings? These are main, saw, taw. Metha, the, unta. And uh, you say, oh, well, that's almost like my side time, metha, the, unta. Main, saw, ta, metha, the, unta. Well, there are some similarities here that make it uh, a little bit easier to uh, learn, and so the pattern will be helpful for you. Places where sometimes people get into trouble is that they forget that this is a main, a long eta, long e, and they sometimes will confuse it with the men ending. This is the first singular. The men ending would be the first plural ending. So main saw ta, methas the unta. These also will have a connecting vowel associated with them, and the rule is the same for omicron and epsilon. The omicron before mu or nu and the epsilon everywhere else. And again, uh, I will expect that you'll be able to give me these endings uh, as the red, the main saw ta, methaset, and ta. Now, some of you are pretty sharp, and you've seen something that makes you nervous. Uh, you've seen a couple things that make you nervous already. One of the things that you've seen.